Okay. Welcome friends again. We are here in Belur. This is standing or this is standing without any support, only on the basis of center of gravity. Can you believe it? It's a huge uh, 36 uh, feet uh, pillar standing without any support, no cement, nothing. So this is a beautiful temple, but before we go into the temple, I would like to show you the prototype. Yes, prototypes were built. Prototypes of this temple took 20 years to build. And later on the main temple that you see took 106 years to build. So this temple uh, per se is cl uh, classified into two parts. One is called Jivatma, other is called Paramatma. Jivatma has 34 beautiful sculptures of the different uh, styles of hairstyles to gowns to antalas, Madhura Bhashinis. Whereas the Paramatma has the story of the Lord, the Vishnu, the Krishna. On the prototype now, I am seeing the main temple here. The temple uh, inside, if you go, there are pillars, and one beautiful pillar is about the summary of the complete uh, temple that speaks about uh, 34, 34 uh, pillars, uh, the Shila Balikas, and the Jivatma and Paramatma, all the sculptures, whatever you see, the story of Mahabharata, the beautiful temple structure in itself is put summarized in a single big pillar called Narasimha pillar where uh, I would like to mention Narasimha is the deity of Haisalas and that pillar was uh, is fixed in interlocking bell system so that it can rotate on its own but unfortunately today we are not able to do uh, because our archaeological department have fixed it. Uh, as I speak Hello. it's going to rain now, it's a beautiful weather out here and a beautiful temple. Uh, with cameraman Manu Jaydeep reporting live from Bedur. Thank you. Namaste friends. Welcome. You are in Hale Bedu. This place is awesome with amazing rock carvings that you see. So this is Hoysaleshwara temple uh, dedicated to Shiva Lord. There are two uh, lingas that is form of Shivas. One dedicated for the king, other for the queen. This temple, as you see, he is known for the carvings which is outside, beautiful carvings. As much uh, we speak, we hear that the many carvings have been transported to London Museum. It's not here anymore. So that is the level of uh, architecture here. So you see uh, this beautiful temple has nine panels. The panels have a story. Like uh, one of the panels talks about Mahabharata, one of the panels talks about Ramayana, one of the panel talks about, you know, a, a whaler of a soldier. So this is a very natural and beautiful and educative temple. The educative panel is in the ninth panel. Uh, I think this video can zoom in before I speak anything. And you see this is made up of uh, something called as uh, limestone. Soapstone. Soapstone. So soapstone is uh, locally available here. So they make the carving out of it. And you also have India's fourth largest Nandi here, a beautiful Nandi with, you know, uh, the features are so perfect, mm, the attention to detail is still the tail of the Nandi, so you can imagine. So it's a great place to be here, amazing architecture, I think this is one of the best temples I have ever visited. Thank you.